A month after dozens of pelicans were found with broken wings, leading most of them to be put down, the mystery as to how this happened is no closer to being solved. But there's new hope and positive signs for those that survived. New Six's James Barbero has the encouraging update at the Wildlife Hospital. All right, so I just got to the Florida Wildlife Hospital in Palm Shores. A month ago, the vets here were saying they were treating up to 20 injured pelicans in a week. They say the pelicans had broken wings and they weren't sure how it happened. The vets suspected at the time that humans may be to blame, but whether that was malicious intent or perhaps the pelicans were getting struck by boats, that was all being looked into. Then we got an update from the hospital's executive director and now we have some good news to share for a few of those birds that were cared for. So Tracy Frampton took me out back to the animals' enclosures. Tracy, after a month of rehab, it sounds like there's great news for three of these birds you're about to show me. They're moving to a bigger enclosure? Yes, they are now in a larger enclosure, which gives them more room to stretch their wings and to fly back and forth. Sounds like just a remarkable recovery when you talk about these birds had broken wings just a few weeks yes. ago. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Luckily, their, their fractures weren't as severe as some of the other fractures, so they did have a much better chance. So now I have the incredible opportunity to see the pelicans for myself rehabilitated in this larger enclosure, and I've got just enough space to where I'm not bothering them as I record them. Haley Rust is the animal care technician who brought the pelicans into their new enclosure. Haley, how are they doing? They look great. They are doing fantastic. We're actually already starting to see some minor flight across their pool and on and off the deck, which is really exciting. Where do they go from here as they continue to improve? So we're gonna be looking for them to actually have some sustained flight. So ideally, they will be up on these high perches that are in the corners and we'll be able to see them fly across the enclosure under their own power. Does it give you hope for the rest of the birds that may be hurt that may have to rehab as well? Absolutely. Yeah, we do a great job here, and I know that any animal that comes here is going to get what's best for them. And ultimately, the goal is to return the pelicans out here to the wild. The hospital says it may be months before they're ready, but when the birds are, Haley and Tracy tell us they'll let us know. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.